hacker peep will steal your identity. If you don't like and subscribe right now. Hello everyone, my name is Jared and welcome back to Daily Dust of Memes and today we are going to look at more mildly infuriating memes. So if you have some sort of drug to take or something that will calm you down, take it now. This just in from the Wall Street Journal. Here's why I'll be keeping my shoes on in your shoeless home. Why are you assuming that your guests shoes are dirtier than your floors? And then they have feet pics. A Netflix. Should I play this movie? I mean, no, no. I'm just looking at it for a second. Netflix. I'll put it on. Me. I'm literally just reading what it is. Netflix. It's playing! Right. Notification for an edit of your review. Hi. A moderator from Gadget Jungle has changed your review on product Mini Trumpet. Your review was one star. Used my copyright without consent. The company has stolen my intellectual property and copyrighted. They're selling counterfeit instruments. Your review now becomes five stars. Perfect product. In love with this. My last trumpet was too big and too heavy. If you don't want the edit, please click here and we will revert it back to your original review. Best regards, judge.me. Powered by judge.me. Ladies and gentlemen, America. Do you want to know what this picture is? It's very simple. It's freaking raw fish, dude. Oh my god. Landed a great job, but this is the chair and cubicle I was assigned. How bad could it be? Well, it looks like there's a specific kind of powder in the chair. Also, the carpet is just completely destroyed, and uh, yeah, it looks disgusting. TIFU, I dropped a small screw somewhere in this area. I needed to hold the new rubber seal on the inside of the faucet. FML, anyone out there care for a game of I Spy? How bad could it be? Oh, God. I stared at this image for like five minutes, and I, I didn't find a screw, bro. It's, it's lost forever. Our high school covers the expiration date with Sharpie. Yep, definitely not out of date. The grilled cheese Reuben I spent $15 on and over an hour waiting for. It couldn't be that bad, right? Oh, that literally just looks like someone took a sandwich and macaroni and cheese and made it. So here we have the infamous I did that Biden sticker on a gas station and it says stop putting these stupid stickers on my effing pumps. I don't get paid enough to remove them. But what I really want you to pay attention to is the fact that this guy spent a hundred dollars on gasoline. Parking is free after 5 p.m. I paid until 5 p.m. Got a ticket at 5 p.m. And if we look at their ticket, it does say they started and ended at 5 p.m and they got a citation, fine. Validation expired meter. Issue date, 1 5 p.m. Pay by 2 22 If you don't pay by then, it's $65. Let someone borrow my truck. This is how it was returned. We have this picture of the inside, absolutely disgusting. The floor, absolutely disgusting. They even bent the exhaust pipe on this guy's car, but it gets better. They left it with the check engine light on and they destroyed the dashboard. Ladies and gentlemen, America. Billie Irish responded to Kanye West's claim that she dissed Travis Scott by coming to a fan's aid during a recent Atlanta show. Eilish stopped mid-concert to ensure that a fan in the crowd received access to an inhaler. Her actions drew some comparisons to the November 2021 Astroworld tragedy in Houston, when 10 people died as a result of a crowd crush during Tex Travis Scott performance. In an Instagram post, Yee threatened to pull out of Coachella unless Eilish apologized to Trav and the families of the people who lost their lives. The 20-year-old responded to the post, writing, literally never said a thing about Travis, was just helping a fan. Now this, Billy Iris responds to Kanye's demand for an apology. It's effing snowing and I want to tip my driver accordingly, at Chipotle tweets. Why are you deciding how much tipped workers can make? Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
That is mighty generous of you. But tips can't be more than 50% of your food's total. Dude, what? Really? Really? Went to a concert last night. This was my view for 3.5 hours. Can you guess what it looked like? Yeah, that is uh, what it looked like. Email I received from a parent after her son did not complete two assignments in the A Push Civil War unit. Blank. I'm going to be really transparent here in this email. I am offended that my child has had to learn and study about slavery since third grade. It's been hammered into him every single year. There's so much more history to be learned other than slavery. And how his generation is supposed to make changes to that. We're not going to do any more assignments related to slavery. I'm happy for him to do another paper on something historical with substance, but not slavery. Thank you for understanding here. Please advise, sent from my iPhone. I would give him a special slavery extra credit assignment. The food being served to Olympic athletes who are quarantined in Beijing. To make matters worse, Russian athlete Valeria Vasanova says foreign athletes who test positive for COVID are being starved, so they can't even compete even if they recover. Ladies and gentlemen, China. So here we have work for snow day number one. And as you can see, the first answer the kid forgot to answer. The second one, he wrote a one and then got a bad grade for a one. And then wrote a one and the teacher gave him a bad grade for a one. And the caption said, my six year old son marks all of his answers with a one wrong because of his unique way of writing it. Even when he shows his work, he loves math and he was super bummed. That teacher should be fired. I left my AirPods on the plane. Oh no, dude. Oh, that is quite unfortunate. New coffee thermos. Instructions unclear. I mean, it looks pretty clear to me. It says, wash before first use. Dishwasher and microwave safe. But if we remove the sticker, hand wash only, not microwave safe. Here's a picture of a mailbox with some stuff delivered on it. It says Uber Eats leaving the order at the end of the driveway in the freezing rain snow balanced on the mailbox. <laughs> this is a school lunch on Thanksgiving? Really? I absolutely hate my life. Oh no, dude, not the bueno bars. <laughs> the third one also just fell on the pile, bro. No. So here it says, uh, deluxe quarter pounder with cheese, no American cheese, no mayonnaise. And as you can see by the picture, it has cheese on it. And the caption says, ask for no cheese, no mayo on my burger. It has cheese on it. So I got a replacement and my replacement has cheese on it. Ladies and gentlemen, Merk. Got some Bojangles this morning, took a bite out of my Cajun filet. And as you can see by this picture, it's just straight up raw. How you fry something and it stays raw on the inside is completely and utterly out of my realm of stupidity. And you're talking about a guy who reads memes on the internet. Well, I guess sleep is off the table tonight. Just whatever. George's head is backwards on a new 2022 coin. So you can see this quarter and it looks kind of weird. And if we go to a normal American quarter, that is, in fact, the way it's supposed to be. I think I found the perfect place for SpongeBob. <laughs> Look at all those Attack on Titan volumes, but... Oh my god, why is volume 26 in the wrong spot? Oh no! Also, where's volume 20? And also 30 and 31? And 6. This is the pizza I ordered. For some reason, someone ordered corn on their pizza. I don't know why, but this is, in fact, the pizza they ordered. Dug my car out of the snow this morning just to see this when I got inside. I don't even know what the heck. What even is that? Write this in English. Chicas, buen provecho. Girls, enjoy your food. No, 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 that's wrong. It's actually girls, bon appetit. And the caption says, write this in English? No, 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 not like that. In French, you idiot. No points for you. Got this in the mail recently. 
charged interest on zero dollars by a doctor's office, then sent to collection over six years later without ever once being contacted by said office. So it says, as of 12-8-16, you owed zero dollars. Between 12-8-16 and today, you were charged this amount in interest. Uh, you paid or recredited this amount towards the debt. The total amount of debt now is five dollars and 87 cents. This is the sunflower room at the Van Gogh Museum. Uh, but this is what it actually looks like. Guys, I'm gonna be honest. I went to that. That is what it looks like. I'm, di I'm being dead serious. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this episode of the Daily Dose of Memes. I'm your host, Jared. This has been Mildly Infuriating Videos. I don't know what to say for this outro, so I'm gonna say subscribe to get your Daily Dose of Memes. And always remember, don't overdose on memes. I will see you in the next one.